The safest, most convenient, and least expensive way for patients to take medication is by mouth, which makes it the most common route of administration. Oral medication administration is not one of the controlled acts under the Regulated Health Professions Act. However, it is governed by other acts such as the Ontario Long-Term Care Homes Act and the Ontario Public Hospitals Act. Each agency will have specific policies and procedures nurses must adhere to. Nursing professional practice standards require nurses have the knowledge, skill and judgment to practice medication administration. Nurses do not perform medication practices they are not competent to carry out. The nurse researches the oral medication using a reliable drug reference for information on pharmacodynamics, for example, what the drug does and whether it interacts with other medications. The nurse identifies which baseline data must be obtained. The patient is then assessed for allergies the ability to tolerate the medication, and the presence of physiological changes such as vomiting, diarrhea or kidney disease as these impact pharmacokinetics. The nurse determines if contraindications to oral administration are present, such as the presence of GI suction, the inability to swallow, altered level of consciousness, or if the patient is NPO, that is nil by mouth. The nurse analyzes all this information to determine if it is safe to proceed with oral medication administration of that specific medication to that specific patient at that specific time. The nurse must know the reason the patient has been prescribed a particular medication, the usual dose range, the expected outcome, which assessments must be completed before giving the medication, and how the medication should or should not be taken. The nurse adheres to the 10 rights of medication administration and completes three checks. There are tips to remember with oral medications. Some meds should not be crushed. For example, enteric coated pills, extended release capsules, buccal medications or irritant medications. Call the pharmacy to see if the medication can be delivered in a different type of preparation. When mixing medications in food, either whole or crushed, avoid the patient's favorite foods. Sour tasting foods such as applesauce or yogurt are useful as they can mask a pill's bitterness and may not impact the patient's psychological relationship with food. When pouring medications, hold the bottle by the label as this prevents spillage over the label making it difficult to read. Separate medications with specific assessments or priorities. For example, the pulse must be taken before given digoxin and if outside the recommended range, the medication may be held. Narcotics are also placed into a separate med cup as they typically require patient assessment, med tracking and extra documentation. Give a sip of cool liquid, not too hot or too cold, before swallowing the pill. A dry mouth makes swallowing more difficult and warm or hot liquids may alter how fast a medication absorbs. The 